Well, the Kevin McCarthy soap opera continues. After being denied 12 times by the Rebel 20, <laughs> Kevin McCarthy concedes. <laughs> to concessions, that is. Okay! Okay, I'm Jasper Gonzo, and this is What's Next. <laughs> Good Friday, everyone. TGIF, Jazz Braganza, what's next? Another episode for you of your daily dose. As always, common sense, facts, and salt. The soap opera, as the House Speaker turns, continues. Kevin McCarthy, who wants the speakership so bad, he's hanging in for the long haul. He's been denied 12 times. Denied 12 times. But now we hear, um... There may be a break. There may be olive branches thrown. There may be concessions made. Really? Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Primer, Kevin McCarthy's olive branches to conservatives. House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has offered several proposals to House conservatives to garner their votes to make him hair speaker. As the battle for speaker drags on on his third day of new congressional term, McCarthy has an increasing number of offers to persuade conservatives back to bid for speaker. On Wednesday night, McCarthy offered conservatives, quote, one member notion, uh, one member motion threshold needed to force votes ousting a speaker instead of five. So all you need is one to kick out the speaker versus five. More House Freedom Caucus members on the House Rules Committee, two seats, pledges to hold votes and lawmakers term limit and border security bills, major changes to appropriations process to prevent another omnibus bill and allowing floor amendments to be offered by any lawmaker. Not bad. As an opener, the conservative activist group Club for Growth, Congressional, I'm sorry, Congressional Leadership Fund, a super PAC aligned with McCarthy, struck a deal to prevent CLF from weighing in on any open seat primaries in safe Republican districts. Representative Warren Davidson out of Ohio outlined many of the concessions that McCarthy has given to conservatives. This is what supposedly has already been done and already on the table. Andrew Clyde's proposal to restore public access to the Capitol. Lauren Boebert's proposal to reduce the linkage between NRCC and the steering committee process. Gary Palmer's proposal to cap spending bill on suspension bills. Ralph Norman's proposal on limit leadership reports and make conference more engaging to all members. Chip Roy's proposal to provide a five-day notice for suspension votes. Dan Bishop's proposal to privilege resolutions. Scott Perry's proposal for additional conference meetings ahead of key votes. Bob Goode's proposal on standalone appropriation bills. Andy Biggs' proposal, uh, promo, uh, proposal excuse me, limiting suspension waivers on committees. And Chip Roy's proposal to make co-sponsored uh, co amendments in order. Whew, that's a lot. Among other adoptions... Davidson cited the revival of the Holman rule and end to Gephardt rule in a rain, uh, to rein in runaway debt. <laughs> you got to do a lot more than that. As well, the rule out worked out with Representative Morgan Griffith, a single subject bills that Davidson said GOP hopes to call the Griffith rule. To me, they need to bring, they need to bring back line item veto. Additionally, he highlighted the, propose, uh, the promise of diverse viewpoints on every committee and a church-style commission attached to the Judiciary Committee, set to be chaired by Representative Jim Jordan, who, by the way, they want to be Speaker, but he doesn't want it. To investigate collaborations between the government and big tech to silence, persecute, or even prosecute our fellow citizens. That is huge. That is so needed. McCarthy has been negotiating for months with House conservatives on several of the proposal rule, uh, proposed rule reforms. On Sunday, before Speaker votes, McCarthy released a rules package containing many victories for House conservatives included directing a January 6th uh, select committee, which has now been renewed to transfer its records to the House Administration Committee by January 17th. All records, tapes, audio, everything of January 6th needs to be released, not just to the House, not just to, not just to Congress, but to the public via online. Be nice, you know, like on Elon's Twitter, just saying. Establish a select over, uh, oversight committee with up to 12 majority members to uh, five minority members to investigate the origins of the COOF pandemic and make legislative recommendations to prevent future pandemics, i.e. shenanigans and propaganda. Reduce the minimal time for lower votes from five minutes to two minutes. Yeah, you got two minutes to, uh, you know, shoot your mouth off and say what you got to say and get the hell off. Changing the name of two committees, oversight and reform would be oversight and accountability. 
Well, that doesn't do anything. Education and labor would be education and workforce. How about you get rid of the Department of Education? That would be nice. Requiring each standing committee exception, except appropriations, ethics, rules, and adopt an author authorization to oversight plan submission to oversight and house administration committees by March 1st. Wow. Um, let me see if anything else really stands out. McCarthy has promised to avoid the closed doors negotiations and led uh, lead to creation of one point of the one point seven trillion four thousand page omnibus bill. He said on the House floor. Yeah, that nonsense, that garbage fest, that monstrous trash. Quote: I will make you this promise. This will be the last time Congress disgraces itself like this again. Yeah, because we haven't heard that before. In eleven days, the new House Republican uh, majority takes over. In eleven days, this time, this same old business. As usual, approach is over. Republicans will do what Democrats have failed to do. We will pass legislation on time and we will do it in an open and transparent manner. Again, we've heard it. It doesn't get done. McCarthy also promised that he will not consider a bill that grants amnesty to illegals, uh, aliens, or pass gun control if he promises speaker. And this was done in an interview with Matthew Boyle of Breitbart. Can you pledge to us that uh, Speaker McCarthy, White House of Representatives, would never consider amnesty legislation? <laughs> Listen, we know first and foremost, one of our greatest thing, strengths is the rule of law. So you have to have an immigration system based upon the rule of law. You have to secure the border. The um, immigration system is broken, and we're going to fix it. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's a yes. yes. Okay, so on the Second Amendment, too, same thing. Can you pledge to us there's no gun control in a Speaker McCarthy? Yes, the one thing I've learned is the Second Amendment is one of the most important amendments, and you look at all my voting record. And listen, you watch this Congress itself. Uh, we, we believe in the Constitution. My thoughts. Um, decent concessions, okay concessions. Um, right there, Kevin McCarthy says that to do the two biggest things would be to make sure to clamp down on the border, which is going to be almost an impossibility. We've allowed almost 5 million illegals to flood this country since dementia has come into office in two years, in two years. And we still got another two to go. Uh, trillions i'm sorry billions to ukraine that's a that's a huge thing that need there need to be concessions right there you need to cut ukraine the off cut them off Zelensky, no more done that i haven't heard been brought up uh gun control laws huge you know red flag laws huge um there are a lot of concessions that need to be made if mccarthy wants to be speaker right now he's been denied 12 times will 13 be the charm we don't know it's been adjourned, but of course it will kick off again this morning um, as I do this, but something's got to give something's got to, to me. I, I, I love Byron Donalds out of Florida. I think he would be the, the best bet. I love Chip Roy. Uh, Matt Gates is a savage. Uh, Lauren, Bur Lauren Burber is a savage. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is a savage. Um, to me, I think Byron Donalds will give you the best shot. Uh, but the but it's up to the 20. And right now, from what I'm hearing, possible 13 or 14 are going along, possibly with the concessions that McCarthy, in addition to what he's already pledged, could possibly draw those 14 to him. But still, it may still not be enough to get him over the top of 218. But um, the soap opera continues. I'm Jazz Braganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.